Welcome to my channel Car Guide UK. This is where you have to get up and fix it. Please subscribe and remember to click the bell if you want more videos like this. In this video guys, we're gonna show you how to hydro dip your engine cover. So you do need a little bit of preparation before you go and do this. It doesn't take too much time, but you need to make sure that you do these steps in order to get it to come out as well as you want it to. First thing we need to do is go take, you can either have gray scotch uh, bright or you can use red scotch bright just to key it up, just to give it that sort of dull effect, just so that the paint will stick to it. Cause you do have to paint these first. You can use a tack rag afterwards to get rid of all the dust. If you want to, you can go ahead and actually wash it down if you want to but you will have to wait for it to dry out before you can uh, you know go and put any paint onto this right so on this stage we don't even need to prime this we are just going to go direct with uh, the coat for the color uh, this is what you have to do to prepare yourself ready to hydro dip any of the products that you're going to be dipping from your vehicle so as you can see here I'm doing my utmost to make sure that all of the dust is out of the way from this so that it doesn't lay in any of the paint when we get to that stage because what you want to do if you do have it if you've got some panel wipe it'll be a really good or degreaser or something like that just something to get rid of any of the oil that might spill as you can see here we are taking our time giving it a few coats of satin black so this is any satin black that you can get I have left a link in the description so you guys can go check out the satin black that was used uh, but you don't have to get any type of satin black it doesn't really matter just cake it on nicely just make sure if you're putting it on stay about 30 centimeters away if you're a professional you will know already that you can get a little bit closer if you feel confident you don't want to get runs in it because it will show in your hydro dipping wrap when you come to do that so as you can see here make sure you are if you're doing outside make sure it's a nice warm day uh, it doesn't want to be cold because the paint will take so long to go off that it will just ruin everything make sure like you see here i put down a nice big bit of cardboard or you can newspaper up the floor or something like that if you are painting paint will get on stuff please make sure you mask off any of the surrounding areas especially if you're living at home with parents so that you don't get it on all the stuff that you're going to be painting as you can see here all you need to do is nice even coats just build it up it doesn't even need two or three coats if you feel like you've gone too far with the plastic and the plastic's a bit furry you can always uh, you know go with a free 20 grit sandpaper if you want to just to, to key it up but it doesn't really need it it only needs uh, a slight key with some grey scotch or red scotch bright um, pads so here you go so we're just laying it on thick here because this is quite textured so we are building it up in the centre uh, as we want it to come out as smooth as possible I'm just gonna just move on to the next stage now guys once that's dry I would give this at least two hours to dry off if it's not uh, if it's a warm day still give it about two hours to dry off just want to be make sure that all of that is uh, you know dried off so the next stage is to go get your water butt ready so what you want to do is fill this up as much as you can using the kettle as you go to get it sort of like a lukewarm temperature I know people say oh you need to get it to a certain temperature but you don't really need to get it to uh, a degree of it being too pr precise it just needs to be warm to the touch if you touch it and it's warm as you can see it's a windy day here if you touch it and it's warm water you're fine you'll be absolutely fine but it needs to be quite warm you don't want it so you scold your hand but you want it so it's warm enough here we go I love the reaction on this so what you want to do is you want to see this reaction here where it goes all ripply if you have any bubbles you need to blow them out if you have a spray gun you could possibly spray it out with the spray gun but just be careful not to damage the material because now that the vinyl wrap stuff or the um, the hydro dipping wrap stuff is now in the water what will happen here is it's really fragile the next thing you need to do is go put your activator on again all the links to all these products are in the channel description as you will see all this wants to do now is expand this is a DIY do it at home yourself I mean I've only done this like two or three times myself and they come out absolutely perfect but I've had experience in body shops before so I'm quite um, skilled on how to do um, bits like this so if you're confident then go ahead and do it as you can see it tries to expand and as it expands it slowly starts to retract again and go back into its normal form wait for it to do that at least 20 to 30 seconds if you can Go get your product straight away, don't mess around. Make sure you've cut your piece big enough to fit what you're gonna do. So as you can see here, I've cut it. You wanna go in at an angle. So what you wanna do is you wanna go in so that the bottom half starts to go and then as it goes in, it starts to grip it. So then you wanna kind of like fold it in over itself. And because you wanna get that back piece, you wanna flip it as much as you can so it goes over to the other side, just like that. 
as you can see here, the tape is going to be around it. So you want to pull all that, you know, all that mess that you can see out the way because that's just like the excess bits that hasn't stuck to anything. So you want to make sure that's out the way. But as you can see, this um, hydrographic dipping process is so good because it gets into every single gap. It's got into all the logo gaps. It's got into the TFSI. It's even got around the gap where the dipstick goes and even on the sides. So, I mean, you couldn't ask for anything more than that. It would take you an age to try and wrap this if you was using wrap and it would get hot and not work very well. But this is just showing you here what it should look like. Go grab the garden hose or take it inside and do it in the bath or something. Just rinse it down. But just be careful not to get too close. Don't have it on a really fast, um, you know, spray. Just make sure that it's trickling and it gets rid of all the residue and the glue that's on there. So what you need to do now, once you're happy with it and you feel that you've got it all off and you're happy with the result, if you're not happy, then you can go double dip it, which means you can set it all up again and dip it again on top of this. You don't have to do anything. Just dip it again and then that way you can uh, go again. But we have got it coming out absolutely spot on. You need to leave it outside in the sun to dry. If you're not confident um, that it's dry in some places, don't go ahead to the next stage of clear coating it because if you go to the stage of clear coating it now, what will happen is the water will react with the clear coating and it will come out terrible. So you just need to let it naturally dry. Don't, don't try to dry it with towels or anything like that. Just leave it out to dry off naturally. Once you've done that, there you go. That's my finished result on clear coating. If you want to see a video on clear coating, I do have a video uh, that you can go check out on the channel. And I also went and dipped the two screws that show at the front because I thought that would be a nice little added touch there. So as you can see, I just did those two front screws. Um, I might do the back ones because you can actually see them, but I do like that. So guys, if you love this video, please give it a like. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.